welcome so this is uh, where we will uh, talk about the white water this is how we created the source for uh, velocity curvature the emitter so all it's colored accordingly so these are be, uh, will be the uh, source for the white water particle that will be created from and this is the white water we come up with after we finish the flipping of the simulation this is where the bridge fall and the wave created and this is where the white water has a secondary element which will give it more uh, better look the splash is the form okay so let's see how we did it so if you remember this is the previous uh, video when we created the bridge it's somewhere here where is the bridge yeah this is the bridge okay the bridge fall down this is the fluid surface we created after we finish uh, simulating it you can go to the particle fluid and press white water so it will take you here this is where you import the compressed fluid and here you will define the criteria for the white source white water sourcing okay so you can uh, check how much uh, you want uh, less more so with me uh, the emission started from 1 to 10 so this is the range for the emitter curvature from 8 to 10 and acceleration from 5 to 80 so just take a frame in the middle okay the coloring is from the visualization so the red is the curvature uh, the green is the acceleration mostly is acceleration and the vorticity is the blue one okay so if I go to the curvature and I remove it it's gone acceleration if I remove it it's gone vorticity if I remove it see so you can define let's say the emission from 5 so it's less from 0.1 it's more okay so like acceleration from 5 to let's say 10 more I, I don't want to so I'm just make it let's say 100 less and you can remap it also if I make it from 5 to 6 a lot Okay, just 80 because I don't want a lot of particle because we, uh, it will take forever to render. Okay, so after that, I went to the simulation to go to the first frame, and I'll just close this one. Object. So in the white water simulation, straightforward. Um, I copied the uh, static and the bridge from the. Uh, fluid simulation here the shift will already created for me the white water object and the white water solver and I made it a little bit bigger so it can accommodate and then I exported then I went to the white water import here you have uh, multiple things you have Let's go to one of the frames. Let's say here. So you have points, primitive. Uh, you can create surface from it. Let's select it and go by. What is it? All these parameter. So here I'm interested in the fluid. Uh, the shelf tool will create for you also this setting for the density so you can mainly you can rasterize the density here you play with the it's uh, selected yeah. it will create a volume for you as you can see which is uh, nice also I didn't use it but you can play with the setting also density depth 
straight forward or you can move it or do it to the side so you can play with it also or you can create uh, uh, your own from uh, uh, like bio simulation then I have the reload geometry already I imported it uh, cache it let's go up and I took it and I put it in the, uh, alone here so these are the particles and to render it in redshift uh, what, what I did we go up to the object in the pop in the redshift object I choose particle render object particle and I make this uh, uh, B scale multiplier okay so I have a camera okay and I have let's see what's mat material capture hidden in lines see how this one will look okay I have a camera I have uh, dome light with uh, EXR 4k and this is how I render it so I created uh, in the out uh, context a geometry in the geometry I like this take uh, for instance the fluid so let me just stop it like uh, the fluid is coming here being compressed after being compressed I added a null and I drag it to the soap bath then I choose where to save it and this saved one I add it to the to the file so it can be read, read back so it will start here with the uh, fluid com being compressed then it goes to the surface so it's doing the surfacing after finishing it will go to the uh, white water source after it go to the white water source it will go to the import after that it will go to the redshift render I already did this step I'm now in this step here nothing fancy the camera the output as JPEG and medium resolution no denoising no motion blur so it don't take a lot of time let's take uh, one screen give it a second to load or I'll press this one I'll just pause to hold on and start reacting uh, waiting for event so it's still caching reading building the scene give it a pause start now very cool so let me stop it for the material we go up here material the white water the water surface I just use uh, the water preset and I give it a little bluish color bridge and the volume they are all straightforward the volume just a volume but I didn't render it and this is the outcome still rendering in progress when it finish I'll post it in a video Thank you very much. Hopefully you like it. Thank you.